Congratulations on making it through your first visit at Medwell Functional Medicine. We know it is exhausting for you to spend a long time here, but it is solely because we try to do as much as possible during your first few visits to get the diagnostics done and start the treatment program. My name is Dr. Maz. I think most of you know we have a large following because we get the results that we get with our patients with chronic conditions. So we've been here for over 20 years, consulted over a thousand patients, helped other doctors to treat their patients, helped other doctors to treat their family members and the actual doctors. We have had patients coming to this facility from many locations out of New Jersey, in New Jersey. We have had patients from California, different states within the United States and overseas. But this video is not about me or about Medwell Functional Medicine. It is about you guys. This is about getting you the care that you need and get to the bottom of it. I can tell you right off the bat, there is so much garbage out there. There is so much misinformation out there. People go to Dr. Google and research. There is no such a thing. There is a lot of misconception, false information on Google. There are a lot of garbage supplements out there. All vitamin Bs are not equal. All thyroid supplements are not equal. So if your symptoms wax and wane, if all of your lab tests, they were normal and you're still feeling miserable, you need to listen to this video and there are reasons behind it. If you take a list of medications and you don't want to take it for the rest of your life, we can help you with that. If you have thyroid problem, diabetes problem, chronic fatigue, mental fatigue, weight loss resistance, we are here to help you. There is a reason that you have mental fatigue, depressed, anxiety, concentration difficulty, memory loss. There is a reason that you have digestive issues. There is a reason that you have pain and chronic fatigue. I would like to go over some general pointers that our physicians want you to know about your care program. First is diagnostic testing. Our physicians, based on your individual needs, order specialty testing to find the underlying cause of your symptoms, to find why you are the way you feel and how we can potentially fix you up. Over the course of the first few visits, you will notice a lot of specialty testing will be done on site. They are based on your individual needs after reviewing your intake form, your visit with our physicians. They formulate the specialty testing that needs to be done. Now, you do not need to wait for the results of this test to start treatment because I promise you, you have inflammation and gut dysfunction and we need to fix them first and you're going to learn why. So food and environmental sensitivity testing is a common test our physicians prescribe. Why? Because we need to fix your gut. Food sensitivities needs to be addressed. Folks, if you have dairy sensitivity, you need to eliminate it. Otherwise, you're wasting your time, you're wasting your family's time, you're wasting our time. You may have been prescribed food and environmental sensitivity study. We need to find what foods you're sensitive and your body does not digest and eliminate it. If you have dairy sensitivity, you need to stop consuming dairy. Because if you continue, you're wasting your time, you're wasting your energy, you are wasting your family's energy, you're wasting your family's time and spend quality time with your family, and you're wasting our time. So we need to do food 
sensitivity testing, that is if it's ordered by our physicians. Environmental sensitivities are extremely important. There's a lot of toxins out there. You may be prescribed an in-office sleep study, which you get a special uh, band that goes around your head that reads brain waves. It doesn't give anything to the brain. It just reads it. You may go home with it. That is to decide if you go to a deep sleep because you need to sleep well for your body to lose weight. You need to sleep well for your body to have energy to make sure you get rid of infections. So you're not chronically fatigued. So you don't have adrenal fatigue. Sleep is crucial. So we need to know if you go to sleep when you shut the light off, how long does it take you for you to get to a sleep? How long does it take you to get to a deep sleep? That is if you even get to deep sleep. How many times an hour you wake up? Based on that, our physicians will gear a supplement and medication program to potentially help you. Some people get it, some people don't. You may have a cognitive and memory assessment. It's extremely important. We are not here to see if you're smart or not. I'm sure you are smart. But cognitive and memory assessment, it's important because bad gut equals bad brain. Inflamed gut equals inflamed brain. So if you have bloatingness, distension, constipation, uh, digestion issues, you're going to have a brain fog and cloudy thinking and mental fatigue. This is very common. That is why you come to a functional medicine physician. We have to assess your digestion. Digestion is extremely important because if it doesn't get digested, you know how they, in the old days, they used to say, your gut is your second brain. In my opinion, your gut is your first brain. If you have thyroid issues, 90% of the time, the problem is not from here to here, where your thyroid is. The problem, it has something to do with your gut, has something to do with your brain function. If you have gained weight and cannot lose the weight, there is reasons behind it. And when we fix your gut, you see you can potentially lose the weight. Of course, can I guarantee it? Absolutely not. Are we successful? Yes, very successful. So you will need to be scheduled at least two to four more sessions to complete the diagnostic testing so we can formulate and gear the treatment plan towards to your specific needs. These appointments are also longer visits. I don't want you to get discouraged after three visits. You say, oh, I'm feeling the same. Well, of course you're gonna be the same because you have a chronic problem. Chronic problem is a problem that took a long time to become like this. You feel it now, but that doesn't mean it started yesterday. People get heart attack today. That doesn't mean it started yesterday. It's a gradual onset of problems until you get the heart attack. So chronic problem is a problem that took a long time by body, organs, and systems malfunction to become like this. Then at the end, you get brain fog, cloudy thinking, thyroid issues, weight gain, weight loss resistance, digestive issues, bloatingness, diabetes, pain all over, fibromyalgia, neuropathy, osteoarthritis. It's not that yesterday you were, your knee joint was good, today you have severe osteoarthritis. It's gradual. You need to understand that this is gradually be becomes severe and you need to be a, I tell my patients all the time, you need to be a progressionist, not perfectionist. So you need to progress. That's what's important for us. That's what's important for functional medicine physicians as well. You need to be a progressionist. How do you feel this week comparing to last week? How do you feel this month comparing to last month? And you need to understand the results vary. It doesn't happen over one or two visits.
we need to give the body supplements and the vitamins that your body is lacking and it needs although miracles happens all the time in this office you can check our youtube channel but don't look for miracles so if it happens that's great when you i mean let's talk about miracles we had a patient a uh, few months ago i told them to get off gluten they fought me for it i said no please take off gluten your food sensitivity shows that you have high sensitivity to gluten so the person got off gluten 85 percent of symptoms were gone within a matter of a week you may be a case like that you may not be a case like that when you have thyroid issue when you have diabetes when you're diagnosed with autoimmune thyroiditis when you're diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis when you have type 2 diabetes it affects every cell in your body it affects every function of your body it affects every organ of your body it is not a thyroid problem it's the body's problem if your gut cannot convert inactive T4 to active T3 because that's the active form if your gut cannot do that you're gonna have a thyroid problem then you get a brain fog and cloudy thinking and thinning hair on top of that let me show you something over here I hope you guys can see this so this is a chart that one of our physicians made for our autoimmune thyroid patients and autoimmune patients autoimmune condition is a condition that means one or more than one of these stressors could cause and the body keeps fighting with it it loses its battle when it loses its battle the body starts attacking itself it attacks organs and functions of the body common stressors are inflammation toxicity chemical stress physical stress what's a common chemical stress is cigarette smoking alcohol psychological stress divorce having four kids that needs to go to school inflammation american diet that causes enough inflammation fried food soda diet soda chips toxicity hormonal imbalance hot flashes excessive sweating thyroid issues food sensitivities you need to understand there is an old saying you are what you eat well I changed it you are what you absorb you may have good food but if it doesn't get absorbed it's not gonna do anything for you and most of you guys who have a chronic problem you most likely suffer from some type of a leaky gut syndrome which means the food that you eat it doesn't get digested it goes through your gut through your blood system when it goes through your blood it circulates in your blood it affects your thyroid affects your uh, brain function you may have a parasite virus bacteria yeast so one or more than one of these causes chronic autoimmune disorder when you have a chronic autoimmune disorder it affects your energy it affects your sleep you cannot go to sleep you cannot stay asleep you're always tired it affects your digestion with bloating this heartburn fatigue gluten sensitivity ibs crohn's it affects thyroid hashimoto's thyroiditis autoimmune hypo or hyperthyroid you feel always fatigued you have sleep problem you have thinning hair this doctor doesn't care about this this doctor doesn't care about this your digestive doctors doesn't care about your muscle aches and pain because you get pain and tenderness you have skin issues psoriasis allergies we have many patients who have been into this office 
with skin problems, we fixed their skin problem. How? By not giving them corticosteroids to their to apply to under skin. We fixed the gut function. Yes, you heard me correctly. We fixed their gut function. You may get brain fog, cloudy thinking, mental fatigue. Then these doctors, when they cannot treat you, they say it's in your head. And that's just depressive because these doctors are not functional medicine doctor. Then they send you to a shrink and the shrink gives you medication. And that will mess you up. That causes a lot of problems. You may have mercury or lead toxicity. You have to be tested for it if indicated. We have had patients who were diagnosed with attention deficit disorder. Many kids are labeled with attention deficit disorder or autism spectrum disorders. And it could be simply heavy metal toxicity or thyroid imbalance or many other factors or other stressors. So when we put you on detox, it is a different detox than when you go to local supermarkets, Whole Foods or a CVS and buy a detox kit for three days. That makes you go to bathroom. You have to have a cellular detox. It is way different than the detox that says on the box. Cellular detox usually does the job. Why? Because your cells are not functioning properly. The mitochondria of your cells are not functioning properly. And we need to detoxify it. This isn't about just having healthy food and vegetables. Obviously, many of our weight loss resistance patients, they come here, they say, Doc, I have salad with chicken every day. They don't lose the weight because we need to fix your body to lose the weight. When you have to go on a detox, when you have to go on a special diet program, our physicians put you on a special diet program that makes you and help you to potentially lose the weight. You need to understand inflamed gut causes inflamed brain. What are the signs of inflamed gut? Number one, if you're fatigued all the time, if you have bloated, if you feel bloated after every meal, including having salad, if you feel bloated after drinking water, if you have distension, constipation, diarrhea, indigestion, those are signs of inflamed gut. What does that cause? Inflamed brain, concentration difficulty, memory loss, mental fatigue. These are all signs of inflamed brain. A bad doctor says you have a problem in your gut that has nothing to do with your body. A good doctor says the gut affects everything in the body. But a great doctor says an infection in your gut, if you have indigestion, if you feel bloated after eating everything, if you, after drink anything, you feel bloated, it causes everything you have wrong with you. And by getting rid of it, your body should function properly. So gut is very, very important because Healthy food does not mean it's healthy for you. It is individualized. We are all different humans. The only way to know if the food that you eat, it's healthy or it gets absorbed. And if you have sensitivities to it is to get tested. That is why if you do food or environmental sensitivity test, it gives us a lot of information because there's a lot of junk out there. There's a lot of junk diagnostic testing. There's a lot of junk supplements. There's a difference between a $5 a bottle of vitamin B than a $50 a bottle of vitamin B. That is, and the injectable vitamin B. So it really depends what your body needs because you may have a methylation issue. Methylation is the absorption issue. Some people have methylation issues, some people do not.
So we need to test you for that and we need to scan your body for toxins, heavy metals, chemicals, food and metabolic stressors and fix you up. Many patients they have had blood testing which caused more confusion because your blood testing, you were told it was normal. I've had many patients like this and that causes depression and anxiety because you're at your wood center and you don't know what else to do. There's a lot of false positive with these blood tests. There's a lot of false negatives with these blood tests. A common false positive is when, for example, your thyroid markers are off and the cause is your liver, your gut function is not there. So it shows the thyroid hormones that are off balance. What happens? The doctor gives you T4, the doctor gives you T3. And how long do you have to take those medications? For rest of your life, because you do not treat your liver or gut function and nobody addresses it. Because your thyroid doctor looks at you from here to here. Your gut doctor looks at you from here to here. These doctors, they don't care to see each other symptoms of the body. False negative is pretty simple. When you have a functional problem that does not show accurately in simple blood test. If the problem is T4 and T3 and we just test your TSH, which is commonly the only thing it is tested. And if it says normal, you say I have thinning hair, I'm fatigued, I have hormonal imbalance, I have no energy. The doctor says it's in your head. The blood test shows you're normal. So you need to understand, you need to go to a functional medicine doctor because most chronic functional problems, they are associated with anxiety, sleep difficulty, mental fatigue, digestive issue, low sex drive, joint pain, pain all over, thyroid or pancreas issue, insulin resistance, hormonal imbalance, and they involve multiple functions of the body, multiple organs of the body, which is why you need to see a functional medicine specialist because at Medwell, our physicians practice functional medicine. The difference is the functional medicine doctors, they know what symptoms correlate with what condition. They also know we need to fix your body, not your organ. I mean, the answer to a gallbladder problem is not to remove it. The answer to your appendix, remove it. The answer to your thyroid is not working properly. Well, give you medication until you get nodule and you get a thyroid cancer, then remove it. There is a reason behind your body's functional mechanism is not there. So functional medicine physician knows what test to order, how to interpret the test results, how to interpret the test result synergistically with your body symptoms, what supplements to order from what company based on experience that works best for your needs, what medications you should be on, what medications you should be off. So as a package, they treat you, the patient. 80% of your immune system comes from your gut. We all learned that in, I don't know, high school or first year of college. 80% of your immune system comes from your gut. And almost 100% of the time, it is directly contributing to your chronic autoimmune symptoms. You may eat healthy, but if it doesn't get digested properly, it will not help you. We need to eliminate inflammation and bad bacteria in your gut. So, MAS method and functional medicine approach, it's designed to make the body healthy by addressing many systems of the body and organs of the body all at the same time. You cannot have great gut function with bad brain function. You cannot have great brain function, great thyroid function with bad gut function. 
That's why we need to treat the body all at the same time. This is the key to fixing the body from the inside out. Most of the time, the cause of an impaired organ is another organ's malfunction. This means the cause of your impaired organ and systems of the body, which causes your chronic symptoms, may be associated with another organ of the body, which seems to work properly, but in reality, it does not. And you need to be tested with a specialty testing. You need to fix the body and become healthy first. What does that mean? That means you do not want to lose weight to become healthy. Many people, they say, I want to lose weight to become healthy. And my response is, you need to become healthy first, then you will lose the weight automatically. The reason you cannot lose the weight is because your body is not healthy, because your gut function is not there. We need to fix your gut. We need to get rid of your toxins. Then you will lose the weight. We need to fix your thyroid function. We need to fix your sleep. We need to fix your energy. Then you see how your body normalizes. We need to potentially put you on cellular detox. We may need to put you on anti-inflammatory diet. We are going to provide you with our best recommendation and we recommend you to follow it. Please don't pick and choose. And ask as many questions as you potentially have. You can call our office. You can ask the physicians every time you come in because the care is individualized. It's not general for the whole population. We do the best we can to accommodate you and your schedule. That is why we urge you to make multiple appointments for future weeks and future days. Why? Because we get booked really fast. So it's first come, first serve for appointments. So it's easier to cancel an appointment than try to squeeze you in because our doctors spend their time with our patients. We have treated thousands of patients in this office. Some respond faster, some respond slower. Some have miraculous recovery, some they do not respond. So be patient. Please do not assess yourself visit by visit. It is our job to ask you strategic questions based on your function and your ability to digest, ability to think, so on and so forth, to see how you're progressing. That's why you may have to repeat some testing that we have over here to see if you have as much sensitivity now comparing to six months ago. I need you to understand, if you don't get the treatment, you're going to potentially get worse. Most people like to be nice than effective. I don't want to be abrasive or rude. I just want to change your life. That's why I have several books out. I want to change your life so you can enjoy life again. If you continue doing what you have been doing, how do you think you're going to feel in a year from now? How do you think you're going to feel three years from now, five years from now? So this is the time to do something about it. Okay. And I'm here to help you. Our physicians are here to help you as well. Invest some time to help yourself to get to the bottom of your symptoms and feel better for yourself and your family and your children, if you have children. Some of you may get physical therapy in this office, and the reason for that is because you have physical ailments, you have muscular skeletal symptoms. You must communicate with our physical therapists regarding the amount of pressure they apply because they do one-on-one -on -one physical therapy in this office. During the first few visits, you may feel better, stay the same, or even become worse. That's normal. 
they're dealing with the muscles that you usually don't deal with. You just need to communicate to them. The site of your symptoms may get shifted, may go up, down, left, right. They're all normal. Don't think you did something wrong. Don't think we did something wrong. If your symptoms changes, they're normal. You're dealing with the body. On different visits, you may get different type of therapy. You, will, you may get injections for your pain. Okay, so every visit you don't get the same thing. It's based on prescribed treatment plan. Uh, once again, ask any questions that you have at any time. I hope this was helpful and answered some of your most common questions. For more information, you can always call us. You can also get some more educational videos at fixmeup123.com. Once again, www fixmeup123.com or ask your questions during your visit. Our goal is for you to be pain-free and symptom-free. I'm honored if you remain this long watching this video. It is my privilege to be able to help people with chronic pain and chronic symptoms and expose you to my last 20 years of research. This is my life's work you got the fast version of it. I'm giving you something that took me a long time and be able to deliver it. My goal is to add value to your life so you're able to do what you want to do and are able to spend quality time with your family and your friends and be able to play sports, walk again, feel happy, be able to think clearly, have better digestion so hopefully your chronic symptoms go away if you are serious about getting your symptoms handled our office is for you and god bless and once again thank you for listening